On this episode, we're going to download and install SQL Server Management Studio so that we can actually practice our SQL and run some queries against SQL Server. Okay, so in order to install uh, SQL Server Management Studio, we are going to go out and search for it, SQL Server Management Studio. And I'm just gonna search for that. And again, um, this is going to be a, from a Microsoft site. So you see these other things down here that are tutorials and different things. You want the one from the Microsoft.com site. And we're on the page here. And you can scroll down. There might be different versions available and everything. What I want is just download SQL Server Management Studio right here. That's the first step. And it's going to uh, do the download. So I'm going to save. And it's 535 megabytes. Um, so we'll let that thing download. Okay, so it's downloaded. Now I'm just going to run it. Okay, this popped up behind. And um, so you need to go click on that button if you see it pop up down there. Okay, and now it says welcome. Um, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio release 18.6. Um, you can always get the most recent. It should be able to work with any of your SQL servers um, that you want to connect to. Um, this is just the tool that connects to SQL Server. So this tool will connect to your development database um, that we just installed in a prior lesson. Um, but it will also connect to any of your other SQL servers out there you need to connect to. So they can be sitting in other places. They don't have to be on the same machine you're on. Um, so in this case, um, there's not much to do unless you want to change the install folder or location, but I'm just going to hit install. Okay, so the install is now complete and it says the computer needs to be restarted. So we're going to do that um, right now. Okay, the computer is back up. Now let's see if this install worked. So I'm gonna click over here on the start menu and we can see Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. If you scroll down, there should be, it should also live in another spot. Let's see, uh, Microsoft SQL Server 2019. Nope, that's some other tools we may go over later in trainings. Um, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio is right here. So let's click on that and it should pull our tool open. Now it came up with a server name for me, but you could also go and browse and see what servers are on your local. And it just says SQL Tutorials. So we can connect like that and it shows an object explorer I am connected. Um, and again, you can connect to different servers or different named instances if you change your connection. So let's disconnect and um, I'll connect to the database again. If you had named instance, you could put it in there. Um, let's try localhost and hit connect. And that connects us to the same server. So localhost, the name, the name of your um, computer and there's one more way. Um, let's disconnect and try another one. I'll just put a dot. That connects in. And so um, I just connected to back to SQL tutorials and we're connected. So for now we're good to go. That means we got Management Studio, we got SQL Server, and we're connecting to it um, to SQL Server from Management Studio.